A man known for running miles in the city of Franklin is recovering from a serious bicycle accident. WSMV's Daniel Jackson has the story on his recovery journey. Each step Seth Odin takes comes from a place of regained strength. Proudly and hopefully I get back to being able to run. Seth is an avid runner, loves hitting the pavement, especially with his Franklin Road Runners. But on April 4th, his ability to run came to a halt after a leisure Sunday afternoon bike ride. So as I'm riding down Liberty Pike, I remember crossing a large intersection there. When I got over, not for sure what it was, but in some kind of way my bicycle tire got off of the sidewalk. So it like dropped off the sidewalk and it's where you weedy between the sidewalk and the grass. His bike's tire got stuck in between the sidewalk and the grass, causing him to hit the brakes and flip over the handlebars. So by going over the handlebars of the bicycle, it of course put the you know, tension on my neck. So I uh, broke two bones in my neck and my spinal cord really didn't have anywhere to go, so it jumbled up my spinal cord. He quickly realized he had temporary paralysis, not having the ability to move anything below his shoulders. A passerby came to his rescue. Within three minutes, there was a young lady there with her phone calling 911. Seth was taken to Vanderbilt Medical Center and was then moved to the Shepherd Center in Atlanta because his injuries required tons of physical therapy. So when I got to the Shepherd Center, they had told me that one reason that I progressed as fast as I did was due to the fitness level I had when I came in. He's thankful for the prayers and support from so many, including his bike club. After four months, he's walking, not quite ready to run, but wants others to learn from his accident. You don't have to be doing anything crazy to have an accident. Now that he's able to walk again, he's accomplished his goal to participate in the Franklin 5K since his accident with his supporters right by his side. My goal and what's next is to me to be able to walk the five kilometer by Labor Day. Right now I've walked up to two miles and I feel okay at two miles. For WSMV4, I'm Danielle Jackson. Seth says that he was wearing a helmet at the time of his accident. He encourages others to always have on some sort of protective gear when cycling.